Hi everyone, what's up? Thank you so much for being here. If you guys are new to my channel, hi, my name is Jessie. Today's video is going to be another review for a holiday collection. And this is from Smashbox. It is the Drawn In and Decked Out Shadow Highlight and Palette Set. So basically, this is $39 and you will be getting two full-size cover shot palettes and then one travel size Hmm. one to go or travel size <laughs> highlighter palette so if you guys want to know my thoughts on this one then please keep on watching well let me talk to you guys about the box packaging first before we move on to everything and anything <laughs> so this is what it looks like it has a sticker up in front it shows you the value and the price and on this side you will see the name of the shades basically everything that you are going to get in the three eyeshadow in the three palettes and then what else this is also made in the usa the cover shot eyeshadow palettes, they have been released for like a long time now. So to some, it's not going to be like super exciting as we all know that this is exciting because the price is like so down there. I am just so happy that I didn't buy the Ablaze palette like back then because I already have the Modern Renaissance. So I'm like, I want to try it, but I already have this palette and I don't want to spend. So this is the good opportunity if you guys are eyeing for cover shot eyeshadow palettes if you like any of these palettes then this is the perfect time for you guys to try because they are like super cheap right now so i think that smashbox is pretty generous when it comes to their christmas collection this year just so because the amount is full size especially the one that i have previously reviewed for you guys it's insane when you open the box the palettes are wrapped with this especially special kind of paper which makes everything like a little bit extra special because it's more of like when I opened it up I feel like I am unwrapping a present and that really reminded me when I was young back in the day I kept on opening gifts and now I am the one now that I'm older I am the one now who's giving gifts to my younger cousin so yeah gone are the days that I'm the one who's receiving the, the gifts it's very rare that someone gives me a gift now but it's okay as long as I'm alive and healthy that's the most important thing so the sticker inside looks like this the sticker is very much the same with the other smashbox um holiday collection and before like the one that i have mentioned earlier the one that i have reviewed previously i just don't understand how come the stickers are like this it's not christmasy it's kind of weird and then i have read there that this one is actually in collaborated with an artist so i'm like okay that makes sense and another one is that there's like a sticker for like to or from so at first i was like thinking like why are there like stickers on to and from and then again i thought that these palettes this set is such a good deal like for example if you have a lot of sisters like me i have three annoying sisters i can just break them apart and give it to them based on their personality these are your palettes they are super cute look at the packaging ah! Look at the packaging! Okay, I'm gonna show you the highlight palette first. Packaging looks like this, reminds me of a pencil case back in the day or a lunchbox. If you guys have that, you know what I'm talking about. So, you have these highlighter shades right here. You have Blow a Fuse, which is pearl, Crank It Up, also a pearl, Crank It Up Pearl, Turn It On Pearl. Okay, I just read here that this is like a spotlight palette pearl so there you have it i'm gonna give you guys a closer look and by the way the palette has this like plastic protectant kind of a thing in the mirror so you can just peel that off and start working your way so that's what it looks like zoom your eyes in and then moving on to the next palette this is the ablaze eye palette where everybody was talking about People don't like some of the people that I know at work they don't like the packaging but I love the packaging I just love it I'm sorry and this is what it looks like yes so pretty I can't give you guys a close-up and for the last palette I have sultry eye palette so it looks like that very pretty such a nice kind of like a small smoky palette 
Now let's move on to the swatches and then after the swatches I'm going to put it on my eyes, on my face and then after that I will give you guys my overall thoughts. If you guys wanted to see the live swatches, I will be providing a link down below. I always create a separate video for that one because some people just want to see the swatches and they don't want all of the bullshit that I'm saying. So yeah, just a heads up. So all of my swatches do not have any base, so just so you guys know. Now I'm going to show you guys how these eyeshadows apply on my eyes. I'm going to start with the Sultry and then after that I'm going to move on with the Ablaze. I'm going to do them in a separate video. So I'm going to focus on this palette first. I really love this palette. At first I'm kind of like boring because the colors are not something that I'm liking right now. I must admit I'm one of those people that I kind of follow the trend colors. If it's burnt oranges, like burnt oranges is kind of like the thing right now. I went crazy over oranges as well. But you know what? You may think that you can only do one look with this palette. But if you think outside the box, there's going to be like so much more that you can create with this palette. I'm thinking of five different looks. But today I'm just going to show you one. By the way, please do not judge me with my chipped nail. It's not that I don't, I'm not hygienic or anything like that. In fact, I take two hour baths. <laughs> That's why it gave up on life. <laughs> it's been just two days and it's already chipping. How sad. So this is the final eye makeup look that I have created from the Sultry palette. I love how it turned out. To tell you guys honestly, I don't even know what I'm doing 100% of the time. <laughs> Every time I'm playing with my eyeshadows, I just, you know, whatever I can grab and whatever I can think on that certain moment. Now, let's move on to another palette and this is the Ablaze palette where everybody's going crazy about. This is the colors that are on trends right now. Recently, there's another shade that is going on trend which is the mustard color and the yellow and all of that. So, I think, I don't know guys, it really has to do... It, okay, if you look at the Naked palettes by Urban Decay, you can definitely see the history of makeup. Did you guys notice that? Starting from the Naked 1 to the current Heat palette, you can literally see the history of makeup on how what we liked back in the day. I can remember go rose gold ones that are really, really so in that everybody wanted to have like a rose gold shade or something like that do you guys remember that no haha <laughs> after that i'm just gonna grab this shade right here and apply that all over my lid area i'm very surprised that this color sticks so damn well just so because i already put like a lot of white eyeshadow on the lid and i didn't really expect that to cling very nicely with a fluffy brush and then for my highlighter today, I'm going to be using Blow A Fuse Pearl. Just going to put it on like that. So this highlighter specifically has... The glitter on this one is... You can see the glitter. You know what I mean? Like, it's not the full wet look, but I love the shine that it gives. My only comment on this highlighter is that throughout the day, it goes all over your face. So I'm not so sure if it's my fault that I should have you know use a fix plus or something like that i like it from the very beginning but 
After four hours, I didn't like how it looked. I didn't even I don't even touch my face. So this is the makeup look that I have created using the Ablaze palette and the highlighter palette. After this highlighter faded out, I used the Crank It Up Pearl highlighter, which is in the middle, and I absolutely love it. And this is what it looks like. It's so beautiful. The Turn It On Pearl, it's the exact same highlighter that I've been using with my uh, Smashbox Shape Matters palette. Correct me if I'm wrong, but the highlighter is pretty identical. So I still have this eye makeup, no retouch, no nothing. You can see that my face is actually melting off. This makeup has been in my face for like 13 hours. <laughs> I know. But my eyeshadow is still vibrant. The quality is superb. I have no complaints with this set. I think this is one of the best holiday collections yet that I have tried. I'm not so sure if I'm going to rank this one and the Kat Von D2. I'm still not so sure because I may try more holiday collection sets. So I'm so sorry if this um, Christmas I may not be able to um, do a lot of reviews for the holiday sets because it's called responsibilities. That's the reason why I can't buy anything and everything. But hopefully if I have the extra, of course, I will buy them for you guys and let you guys know my overall thoughts. So that is pretty much it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think on the comment box down below. Hopefully I get the prism palette and I will give you guys some honest swatches. Let me know if you want me to and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you guys next time. I love you. Bye.